What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rhymes out here, and today I bring some more Pokemon PSA Grey returns. So today I got two boxes. I was gonna do these in two separate videos, but I figured, why not just put them into one? So here we go. Make sure I don't show my address, because one of these actually has my address. Didn't peek that in. Let me just go ahead and put this on the side. Uh, let me just empty them out first and jump right into it and see what kind of goodies we got today. Now, uh, I don't know what's in these yet. Well, obviously the Pokemon cards, uh, but I don't know what's as far as list. I sent these in a couple of weeks ago, and because of the holiday season, it took actually a while to get these actually graded. Um, so I don't remember what was in this batch. I remember I sent a bunch of stuff in just because I got a bunch of cards over the course of like October, November-ish, and I just got all sent in at once. And uh, here we are. So let's see what we got. Let's start with um, let's do the big pile first. So let's put these. Two, let's, I can put them all over here first. Here we go. Let's see what we got. I got my thing open. Make sure I got the right one. All right, Shining Gyarados. Uh, I got this once. And it came back as an 8. And while an 8 is nice, a 9 is more desired, 10 is what we want. So as long as I can get a 9 or higher, then we're good. Okay, we got a 9. Perfect. I'll take that. Ooh, this card is so cool. Now, one thing I don't like about this card, though, is like it's a shining Gyarados. So it's uh, it's a shiny Gyarados. So obviously it's red, but you can't really tell because it's like so dark. But like once you like get really close to it, it is a beautiful and gorgeous looking card. I'm happy it's a 9, but I'm still going to want to hunt down a 10 because this is a really really cool classic card uh they are currently 154 nines and 51 tens which is uh makes you want to get a 10 even more all right next one it's kind of part through because a bunch of cards to go through here scyther it's an eight all right i'm not even gonna look into it i'm only gonna look up the ones that are like nines and tens uh because there's no point in looking at other stuff because me a lot of them why did i buy this why did i get this and it's an eight wow two eights in a row why why, why? i thought this is a good card let me see I wouldn't have sent it in if it wasn't in good condition. Why was it an eight? Uh, it's probably all the scratches, which you can see. Yeah, that's exactly where it is. Tell you those scratches—they kill the scores in these cards. All right, uh, Zapdos fossil nine, nine. Knew it. Every single fossil Zapdos I've ever gotten has always come back as a nine. And by the way, this is—it is. This is the arrow one. So this is where they usually have like the little evolution uh, box, where it's like this Pokemon evolved from so and so. But it's an error, because it's obviously a basic Pokemon. Zapdos doesn't evolve from anything. So yeah, it's cool to have an error card. I already have one of these as an error card, so having two now, both at nines, is actually good, because error cards are technically more valuable. But I would love to have that as an error and a, and a 10, but it is what it is. Um, should we actually look that up? Let's look that one up, because there's a bunch of Zapdos uh, as far as... Yeah, 282 nines and 151 tens. Unfortunately, they don't separate the uh, error cards and the regular ones, uh, sadly, so we don't know how many error cards actually exist. I wish it would do that. Oh, I forgot I had this. Zapdos, uh, Shadowless. Ten. Oh, it's a nine. It's an eight again. I almost had nine. Why was this? This should have been a freaking nine. No, oh, no, I'm just kidding. It shouldn't have been. Look at that on the bottom. Super jacked up. I'm actually surprised that it came back as an eight. I'll take it. I think I have a Shadowless Zapdos as a nine, but now it's a ten. I like no Shadowless cards as tens. It's like almost impossible. Dragonite, probably a nine. Actually, it's a 7, even worse. I say 9 because every single Dragonite I've ever sent in has always come back as a 9. Which sounds like it's been a lot, but it's only really like uh, 4 that I've ever sent in, this being a 4th one. Next one, Selby. Now, I want this as a 10 only because I know uh, there's like 4 or 5 10s in existence. For some reason, they, no one sends these in. Um, but the last one I sent in came back as an 8. So, as long as it's a 9, we're good. And it's an 8. Might as well just title this video the 8 video. Everything comes back as an 8 because whatever. There's 12 8s and 126 higher, so I can't actually show you how many 10s there are, but trust me, there's very, very few 10s. I think when I checked, there were 4 at the time, but it was also months ago, so I don't know if that changed. Blastoise. It's gonna be an 8 or a 9. 9 again. <laughs> can't tell you how many of these I own as 9s. They always come back as 9s. Why? PSA, come on. Let me get this as a 10. Uh, put this in a 9 pile. So far, no 10s yet. It's been a while since I did a PSA return where it was like, you know, all 9s and 8s. Last time I got this, it was a 7. It's an 8 this time, so one one step above it, but whatever. My goal is always to get 9s and 10s. That's what I always want to get. Call of Legends Lugia. It's going to be a 9. It's a 9. I know that because the last, like, 5 came back as 9s. Still no 10. If you get this as a 10, it's a pretty expensive card. Little fun, fun fact. I think, like, uh, I bought a grand, I think, somewhere in that neighborhood. Might be wrong, but... It's pretty expensive. I mean, any 10, especially older cards, they're always going to be super expensive. Another 9. Actually, get 8 this time. Okay. Put that in there. Should I even look up how many 9s exist in the Lugia? Sure, let's do it. Because I did say I'm going to do all the uh, the 9s and 10s. 
Lugia, there are 38 nines and nine tens. This is why you want to get a 10 for that Lugia. But again, the problem with this card, I, I've said this many times, because of the hollow pattern around, it's almost impossible to get to this tense. They, they scratch so easily. You breathe on it and it's scratched. Make sure I block it. First edition Lugia. Last one came back as a nine, but again, the problem with this one is because of the hollow pattern, it's super scratchable. It, it's not gonna be a nine. Maybe, you know what? It's a nine. It's an eight again, wow. Again, this is all, all about the eights right now. Lots of eights here. Another one, nine, eight again. All right, maybe I should give one of these away. Should I do that? How about this? Uh, if you interact with this video, leave a like in the comment or whatever. In a couple of days or so, I'm gonna pick out a random person using a random comp picker. I'll reach out to you. If you respond to your message, I will send this to you. Make sure you actually keep an eye out for when I reach out to you. I'll pin the comment, uh, the winning comment, I will reply to it, and I'll message you to make sure I can get your information and I'll send this to your way. It's a pretty cool card. Uh, I have one as a nine, but I mean, I don't need multiple eights. I can get one out. Ante. Uh, you know what? Because it's been happening this entire video. Eight. Hey, I called it. I think I got this as a nine last time, but I might be wrong. Might be wrong. I don't even know why I bought that. I, I Sometimes I see cards pop up and like my mind says, hey, buy it right now just in case. And I end up buying cards and then like, you know, when I'm sending stuff into PSC, I'm thinking, why did I get this? Whatever, it is what it is. Mewtwo. It's going to be a nine. Yep. Every time. I, I think I got this card like eight times now and it's always come back as a nine. Every single time. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's like PSA refuses to grade that as a 10. Uh, how many of them actually exist? It's not even that big of a deal of a card. I think it's like a $200 card as a 10. It's not that expensive. I mean, it's expensive, but compared to like Charizards and stuff. Yeah. There are currently 41 nines and 20 tenths, which again shows you. All right. Now, I don't know much about this card. It came from Pokemon Rumble. I randomly came across it. I thought it was cool. It never popped up on Troll and Toad. It popped out like twice. I bought two of them. This is one of the copies. I don't know if the second one is going to be below it or in the next uh, return. But I would love to have this as a 10 because, again, I love Mewtwo. Oh, you know what? It's fine. Fine. I'll take the 9. How many exist? I feel like not that many 9s and 10s will exist. And I was right. There's 8 9s and 5 10s. So I'm definitely going to hold that one forever because, again, Mewtwo is my favorite Pokemon of all time. In fact, that can be the fun question I ask you guys. What's your favorite Pokemon of all time? And if you comment that, you know, I'll do the random comp picker thing. Mewtwo again. Um, not a single 10. I, I don't remember the last time I did a video, uh, like I said, where there were no 10s. Mewtwo. Uh, this is going to be a 9. Yep, knew it. I say it because every single time I bought this, it's not expensive. It's like a $4 card now. Uh, every time I bought this, because I have every... Breakthrough Mewtwo is a 10 except for the secret rare versions. Every single time I bought it, there's always something wrong with the centering. Every single time. Uh, but you know what? I think the last one I had was an 8, so a 9 is a step up, so that's a, it's kind of a win, I would say. Uh, next one, we got another one. Another 9. Yep. Like I said, every time. Every freaking time. The last one, is going to be an, a third secret rare Mewtwo? It is, but the other one. And another 9. Actually, we got a 10 finally. Finally! Go! It's funny because that was the last card too in the pile. I'm actually happy about that. It's funny. Fun fact. I pulled this card forever ago and I sent it in. And guess what? On the bottom left, it's not this card. It's like my original one. On the bottom left, I actually have a Buster hair. It somehow made its way into the sleeve and I guess PSA didn't notice. So I have a Mewtwo with my dog's hair. Super like slightly on the bottom, which you can barely see, uh, encased together, which I think is actually kind of funny. Alright, so that was the first one. Uh, not bad, you know, I'm happy that I got, got a 10 at least, especially on Mewtwo, so it's a win-win there. Alright, let's go into the next one. Let's kind of power through because it's going to be a lot more to go through, and I want this video to be like three hours long. Going to the next one, this is the second submission. Alright, here we go. So, uh, full art Charizard. 10. Started off with 9s. How many of these exist, actually? Because I have no idea. Um, oh, it's out of order. Great. It, there's currently 320 9s. And 99 tens. Why? Everybody sent those in. Again, with the promo cards, they always like bounce around in the box. It's easy for them to get damaged. It's as expected. Nine. Yep. Look at that. As expected. Maybe I should give that away too. Nah, you know what? We'll save it for the next video. Save it for the next video. Like I said, I like to every now and then pop in and give these cards away because I'm not going to save all of them. Usually what I do is I, I take like the highest scores. I put it in my secret sash. And then the rest, I just kind of sit there. I either sell them back to Troll and Toad or I'll end up, you know, giving away and stuff like that. I don't know. They, they're just kind of there. This is going to be like an 8 or a 9, and it's a 10! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Okay. I can't tell you how many times I bought this card, 
and it's come back as an 8, a 9, a 7, and a 6. Never a 10. It's a big deal. It's not that crazy or over rare Charizard like the other ones. I think like as a PSA 10, it sells for like 500, 600 bucks, which is still pretty expensive, especially for a card. But I am happy I finally got this out of my system because again, the problem with these cards is they scratch so easy on the sides. That's what it was every single time. But wow, I can't believe I got a 10 of this. How many of these actually exist? I'm actually curious. They are currently 121 10. So despite, that's probably why the price is kind of like lower than normal. I mean, the average Charizard as a PSA 10 is a lot higher, especially with like the older ones, like 2004, 2000 era ones. The newer ones are probably around like lower, I want to say 200, 300, 400 bucks, but like all the other ones I know are like way more expensive. For example, like a PSA 9, um, what's it called? Gold Star Charizard is like a $900 card. As a PSA 10 is like three or $4,000 in that neighborhood. So it's like, again, it's an expensive card, but compared to the other Charizards, it's not that high, but still, I will take it. That's another Charizard on my collection. It's a perfect 10. It's a win-win actually. I can put that in my 10 pile. All right, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty. Now we get like we're like warming up. 10. It's a nine again. Uh, every single one of these came back as a nine. I think it's uh, only a handful of tens from my, what I remember last time, which is why I keep trying to get these graded. And yeah, there's 18 tens and 105 nines. Put that into the nine pile. Lots of nines here. Uh, reverse Charizard, probably nine. Yep. Yep. It's like PSA knows it's like you, you can't give out too many tents for Star Charizards. I mean, granted, you know, they're not always in the best condition, but still, like, I feel like sometimes, it's like, do we really want to give this person a 10? No, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, eight. Yep. I want this as a 10. I think this is a more a. No, this is probably around the same price as this Charizard as a 10. I want to say. Because, I mean, they're kind of from the same era, 2002, 2004. Probably around the same price. But it's not that expensive a Charizard compared to the other ones. But hey. I'll take it. <laughs> next one. Charmeleon! Now, I got Charmander as well, I think in my next return, because I got the PSA 10 uh, Legendary Charizard a couple of weeks ago. Because I gotta get all of them, so I am hoping that this is a 10. Uh, what is it with 8? Is 8 my lucky number today? I feel like 8 is my lucky number. That's, that's, all, that's what it's gotta be. That's what it has to be. Uh, full art Charizard. It's gonna be a 9. Yeah. Oh, 8 actually. Alright. Every single Charizard that I got from uh, Flash Fire, except for the Secret Rare one, has always come back as a 9. I do got one 10 uh, Secret Rare Charizard, which is the one you want to actually have. Crystal Charizard, um, 8. Hey, look at that, it's a 9. Take it. We'll love to have it as a 10, though. Can we get some more 10s, though? 10! Urgh! Why is it when I guess a 10, it's an 8? You know what? Reverse Psychology. This is what we're going to do here. Watch this. Ready for this? 8! Uh, I mean, it's higher than eight, you know, whatever, I'll take it. Did I just get three of these? I did, I had three of these. Yeah, look at that. For some reason, let me see if I have it in these cards. I don't know why, but the last batch of Charizards that I got always had like a printing error. There's like a little, like a random line that goes down this, like, down the middle. And that obviously kills the score a lot, uh, but that's happened so many times. Almost every single time I open a package, like really, another one of those lines, is it even worth sending in? Now, I would love to have a base set 2 Charizard as a 10. Again, any Charizard as a 10 is a good one, but it's not going to happen. I don't know why. Like, Despite the, like, the more lesser value of all Charizards, still, it's the original design. And I actually was a big fan of the base set 2 cards because I love how much like they sparkle. But again, 10. <sighs> 8 again. Everything is an 8 in this pile. Whatever, you know, I'll accept it. Uh, 10. Is it a 10? It's a 10, right? It's a 10? It's a 10? Urgh, why is there everything in the 8? Uh, dude, I don't know how many times I've sent in, like, how many times I've hunted down base set Charizards and sent them in at this point. Not a single 10. One of these days, I feel like by, by the amount of money I've spent on buying the separate cards over the course of the past, like, two years, I could have probably just bought a Charizard. But it's not the same. It's like the thrill of the hunt. You know, you get, if you, like, pull the card yourself and you grade it and comes back as a 10, it feels more exciting, at least in my opinion. All right, two more cards left. Uh, oh, Legendary Collection Charizard. I actually just bought four of these today. Um, they popped up briefly on trollandtoad.com, and I was gonna buy one, and I was like, you know what, let's go for all four. If they're in bad condition, I can always return them, but uh, four chances to get a 10 is better than one, so why not? Eight. Why is that when I actually guess an eight this time, it's lower, seven. Hey, this is actually better because the last one I had came back as a five, so it's definitely a step up. But I mean, again, with, with Charizards, you want them as 9s and 10s. Like, those are the ones that are more valuable than anything. Uh, but whatever. Last card. 
We got... You know what? It's a 10! Ugh, fine. I'll take the 9. Alright! Ladies and gentlemen, so that's that. So again, let me find out where is that Lugia. There it is. If you end up commenting on this video, uh, just interact, do anything, leave a like and a comment, yada, yada, yada. In a couple of days, I'll probably wait for midweek, let's say, so enough people can watch this video. Uh, what's today? Today is Friday. You're watching this on Saturday. You know what? How about by the end of the weekend? I'll probably uh, pick a person up by the end of the weekend. I'll reach out to you. If you respond to me and I get your contact, I will mail this out to you, and then you can have your own first edition uh, Neo Genesis Lugia, which is a really pretty card. Awful to play with, but a really pretty card. So, uh... Co congrats or good luck no good luck that one good luck to whoever enters i guess anyways uh i'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner now i'm obviously kind of jumbled up in the brain because i haven't eaten yet but i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you leave a like and a comment enjoy the rest of the day and i'll see you guys in the next pokemon opening peace